Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio. Um, messages from your guides and your angels and your ancestors. We're going to take a look and see what that is. Uh, we'll finish out three to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Scorpio people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh following me on TikTok and also on Instagram. The links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? Um, and you guys could apply this to any of your placements because it, this could be about anything, okay? So uh, let's uh, get started here. Hold on one sec. Tell me about Scorpio. What messages do we have here so for Scorpio when it comes to their guides and their angels and their ancestors? What does Scorpio need to know from their guides and their angels and their ancestors? for uh, November 2023, for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Uh, so we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, we have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Sun, Leo, Energy, Four of Pentacles, and Temperance here. Okay. Okay, so Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Sun here. The Four of Pentacles in Temperance, Sagittarius energy with Temperance here. So what we have here is I feel like you guys are definitely coming out of the darkness here. Like I feel like you guys have gone through like a bit of a dark night of the soul. Okay, doing shadow work here. Okay, uh, I do feel like there's a huge shift in your energy or that there is about to be a huge shift in your energy. If you guys haven't done this yet, you know, you guys can also apply this to your own timeline. You're definitely being guided to do that. You're definitely being guided to step through, through the darkness, embrace the darkness, love the darkness, allow the darkness to be your best friend. And then, you know, you're stepping into the light here, okay? Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I've already said that. Tell me about, um, tell me about the uh, Knight of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Moon. And the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So what we have here, uh, Scorpio, is I feel like you're taking action at this time here for yourself. I do feel like you guys are definitely dealing with things that has been swept under the rug here, okay? I do feel like you guys are facing your shadow side here, facing the darkness here, and really working really hard upon, you know, overcoming or, or transcending uh, this dark side here, okay? Because I see things getting better for you. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Sun, and we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, you guys are also stepping into this like more grounded energy here, okay? I do feel like, you know, you guys are definitely taking a lot of time to perhaps meditate, taking long walks, you know, perhaps hugging trees, you know, touching the ground. You know, I do feel like there's like a bit of a transference in energies here too. So whatever darkness that you've experienced, whatever darkness that you're holding on to here, um, Scorpio, I do feel like you're transferring it to the earth here, okay? You guys are definitely really doing everything that you can uh, to heal. Yeah, I do feel like you guys are doing like a lot of spiritual practices, spiritual rituals and stuff like that, okay? Or that you guys are being guided to do that, all right? Tell me about the um, uh, Four of Pentacles here. The Four of Pentacles here and the Five of Cups, the Temperance card, and we have the Justice card. Wow. Everything is changing. Everything is changing for you. I do feel like karma also is being cleared out here too. Yeah, maybe a tough karmic cycle is coming to an end here. I do feel like a, a like a dark cloud is being lifted, okay? A dark cloud is being lifted here. You're kind of like feeling the light. You're embracing the light here. You're enjoying it. You're taking it in, all right? What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know? What does the Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on? for uh, November 2023 for Scorpio.
We have a Page of Pentacles and a King of Cups. Okay, there's someone else here. Could be new job opportunities are coming in for you. We have the Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Empress here. This is interesting. I mean, it could be a situation that, you know, someone here in your life, they're watching you go through all this, and they feel like they could be taking the initiative to go on this journey themselves. Whoever this is, um, you know, I feel like you're inspiring other people to heal here, too. I mean, this could also be an indication, you know, with the Page of Pentacles, you know, you could be getting an offer from somebody here, or maybe getting an apology from somebody here. You know, someone here that ended things with you, someone here that, you know, hurt you or something like that. Uh, but whatever this is, I do feel like someone here is definitely coming in to heal a situation here. Mm, whoever this is. I mean, it could be a situation that, you know, whoever this hurt person is that, you know, that you were dealing with or that you are dealing with, you're sending this hurt person healing energy, you know? It's like maybe you're sending this person healing energy, you know, you're sending them like good energy where you you're sending this person love and compassion wanting good things for them and stuff like that perhaps you don't want to directly deal with them you know uh but whoever this is i feel like this person is definitely feeling that huge shift in your energy here too and it could be that they're coming back in to check in on you or something like that okay tell me about the four of swords here why is the four of swords here why is the four of swords here we have the ace of wands the eight of swords and the Strength card, Leo Energy. I mean, someone here. This is interesting. I feel like this could be someone new that's coming into your life. Whoever this is, this person has a strong sexual attraction towards you. I feel like this person is a, a bit intimidated to speak with you here, too. I do feel like this is a newer person. Yeah, I do feel like this is a newer person because whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that will bring in happiness here for you, fulfillment. So there's some sort of commitment, there's some sort of relationship that's coming in for you at this time here. Or that it will come in at some point here. Yeah, because I feel like you've done all of this work to clear out some stuff here, and I feel like you're making room for new things to come into your life, whatever that may be. Could be a new relationship, you know, could be new things here, uh, could be a new job, whatever. Uh, it just There's just a lot of happiness and abundance that's coming in for you, okay? You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you've been doing all this work, and I feel like this work that you've been doing has been surrounding yourself here, you know, sabotaging good things in your life, creating self-doubt here, you know, lack of self-confidence, but I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Lovers here, you guys are definitely finding a lot of self-love at this time. Really taking care of yourself with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here. Really focusing on your traumas. Really trying to open uh, yourself up and be more vulnerable and share uh, some of yourself to people here so that people can know you in a really deep way. Um, so whatever this is, I do feel like this is really doing you good here. I do feel like there's a huge, just a huge shift in your energy, okay? So with the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Tower, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Wands here. Just be careful here, uh, Scorpio, because I feel like you guys do work a lot, and I feel like you guys work a lot, work really hard for your money here, and I do feel like a lot of guys are getting burnt out here at the same time. So be careful of being burnt out here. Yes, I, I you know, so I do feel like 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 there's a bit of a, 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 there's a bit of a, a, a obsession with work here for you guys here too. I mean, I do feel like there's also good obsession here because I do feel like you guys are doing whatever you can, whatever you can to heal, you know, to be the best version of yourself here. And I feel like you guys are really committed to this journey here because this, this huge shift has really opened your eyes. You're kind of like, you know what? I should have done this sooner. And there's definitely something to this work here, you know? And I feel like it was meant to find you. It was meant to find you, uh... You know, because, you know, sometimes the, the universe works in that way. It was meant to find you. You were meant to, like, give this some sort of attention here. And I do feel like you're definitely coming out on the other side of this. Okay? Yeah, it's almost like an energy of, like, you're no longer turning your back on yourself and you're working on yourself here. Or that you're actively committed to working on yourself. Okay? So, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe. 
hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.